Mark, your job is to make sure that the new stuff looks old. Exactly, so anytime we do a renovation or a restoration in masonry, the main goal is to match what we have. So how'd you get started here? We actually dug down, hit the ledge, drilled into the ledge, placed re-rod with epoxy, we tied all that steel together, we poured the concrete, yep. but what it did was it allowed us to put a block wall up behind where we're gonna uh, lay our stone, so it created a ledge. So this stuff is obviously granite, Mark. Where did you get this? So luckily for us, we actually got this right off the site. When Charlie tore down the garage, there was a little extra stone, but there's a wall out back that has all the stone we need for this wall and the steps. Our wall? Our wall, don't worry, <laughs> yep. This is like uh, blunt force trauma, Kevin. Yeah, but it's actually yeah. a little bit more precise than you would imagine. Yeah, and uh, that one's gonna work for me. Take that. Let me, uh, now I got a butt of the bed. So I want a fat bed joint. So I have plenty of area for the stone to sit. That fits well. I might just back butter that stone a bit. Oh yeah. And that way I can wiggle it into place. The important thing for me right now, Kevin, is going to be my height, which looks pretty good. I want to keep these joints as tight as possible. Mm -hmm. And again, mimicking the, wor the work next to me. Concrete on three sides and then filling in the back. And you got to fill in the back. That's what's going to hold it together. Sometimes I like to bounce my trowel from behind. That way it'll fill the joint from the back which will ensure that I have a full joint. And then your, uh, I forget, jointing tool? Yeah, this is just a flat joiner. And again, it's a tool that I have to use because I'm trying to mimic the joints that exist in the stonework now. The mortar whisperer, I love yeah. it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.